today's collaboration is with Miss By Hair. As you guys know, I've already collaborated with Miss By Hair with my Beyonce inspired curly look. So yeah, this is how the hair looked before I dyed it the beautiful yellow. It is blonde, 613, and it is already cut into a blunt bob. You guys know this is my go-to for coloring any type of hair nowadays. I know it may be a little bit ghetto for some people, but I like this method. It is the boiling pot method. If you guys are new to my channel or new with coloring hair in general, what I usually do, boil water and then I place the wig inside. I place the dye in. As you can see, I'm like pouring some in and mixing it up and it colors the whole entire wig. Like it's so easy and it just makes doing hair a little bit more fun because hair sometimes it can get very tedious and like you know extra and for me I just want to hurry it up so I can just slay already so I try to take like the most easiest methods possible So I'm going to start by blow drying the wig. This is how the hair came out by the way, this beautiful yellow thanks to Kiss Electric Yellow Dye. So I'm going to start by just blow drying it out like literally like giving it a blowout as opposed to just like blowing the hair with the blow dryer just because I really want it to be really straight and silky. As you guys know, in Barbie Tings, Nicki Minaj was rocking an asymmetric bob, so I'm going to cut the bob exactly how she has it. It's a little bit longer and it's kind of uneven, so we're just going to get it really even so it can look exactly like Nicki's. So guys, I've done this cutting method a million times. If you don't know how to cut your bobs, this is how I cut them. I have a million videos on them. So I'm just going to cut it the way I usually do and then I'm just going to clean it up with some clippers, which is perfect because it really gives you that neat, really like neat blunt bob. I'm sorry for my head, but I was really trying to get up in there, y'all. I'm going to just do a shameless plug right now. This flat iron is by Duval. You can get 70% off, ladies and gentlemen. This flat iron is well over $100, and you can get it for as low as around like 30-something bucks. Definitely use my code Chrissy70 to get money off, but it's one of my favorite flat irons. I use it for every old wig, and uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, bye. Look at me doing this little beauty guru move. You feel me? I'm getting up there. I'm getting up there with the makeup tutorials. You feel me? Okay.
honestly one of my favorite um, Nikki looks and honestly I love recreating Nikki looks not only because people say I look like her but because her looks are very simple but yet iconic I like the fact that she's not like an eyeshadow girl like myself so it's kind of easy to recreate her looks because I feel like the focus is more so on the hair than the makeup much powder on your face and you just like you know what it is what it is I'm just gonna go along with it I know I put on a lot of baking powder but I mean it's 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 what I love <music> I just wanted to put this in here to achieve the like green eye look I you like the green under eye look I use a uh, milk by NYX because the eyeshadows I use are really old like I really don't invest in eyeshadows because I don't really wear them so yeah to really get the pigment to really stand out I use this underneath because it just really gives it that like pop of color so that's like a little tip if you have like cheap eyeshadow and you want it to look expensive just use like this um, NYX jumbo pencil and I promise you your eyeshadows will look so expensive. That's just a little tip.
my fairy balm by Fenty Beauty one of my favorite products and go-to's to achieve that really beautiful shiny skin That is all for this video you guys thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for subscribing if you have give this video a thumbs up let me know what you think below and i'll see you guys in my next one